So we are uh, going to create uh, uh, or install this uh, Edge Impulse uh, data forwarder. Uh, these are the steps that we have to follow. Uh, the first thing is you have to create an Edge Impulse account that you have already did. Uh, we need to have uh, Python 3 on the laptop and uh, any version of Node.js above 16. Uh, so make sure that you install additional tools also here, additional Node.js tools uh, which are uh, used for uh, 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 some kind of GUI uh, uh, for showing this GUI. And as you can see here, we have to uh, check this checkbox and then you have to click on next. So we have uh, done it already. Now. Uh, let us go to the fourth step here, which is npm install edge impulse CLI. So remember node package manager npm, uh, this will help us to install uh, uh, this edge impulse data forwarder here, which is a CLI and uh, okay, scroll up, scroll up a bit. Now uh, let us look at the uh, command that we executed. The command is uh, we are saying npm install hyphen g edge impulse cli and uh, we are giving a force uh, uh, we are forcefully installing it. Uh, so hyphen g represents uh, it is a global installation any user of the system can uh, access this cli which is an application. Uh, now uh, as we see here we have got some errors. Uh, just scroll down. So sc uh, scroll down more. So it is complaining about uh, uh, it could not find any Visual Studio installation to use. So uh, scroll down more. So we are going to set up uh, this Visual Studio for uh, uh, this uh, CLI because this CLI is internally using some libraries uh, which are uh, uh, desktop based uh, libraries. Uh, uh, so we have to install this desktop development environment with C++ in Visual Studio. We will uh, show you how to do it. First of all, we have to install this Visual Studio installer uh, that will show. So this is the Visual Studio installer. So now here uh, we have chosen Visual Studio Community 2022 and in this one we have to select this as the option desktop development with C++ um, because uh, the the CLI that uh, the Edge Impulse platform has provided depends on this library uh, which is a C++ library that uh, helps us to view the application. Uh, so we have to install it. Uh, so just say install, it is quite a big file around 3 GB uh, so make sure you install and come. We are not going to use this Visual Studio ID anywhere, we are going to use just the Visual Studio code. Uh, this is for, uh, because this is a dependency for uh, this Edge Impulse CLI, we are trying to install it. Make sure you have a good internet while uh, installing this one. Uh, now we have uh, installed this Visual Studio Community 2022 version. Uh, it is still finishing up. Let us wait for finishing up. So it is uh, successfully installed now. Uh, let us uh, switch to that. Uh, command again, we will try to install Edge Impulse CLI again. Uh, 
so we'll say skip So again we are uh, going to use the same command node package manager install example CLI globally and we are forcefully installing it. So in case if you get this uh, error as uh, no module named distutils, you have to install uh, setup tools uh, by using your pip, pip is another package manager for python, uh, pip install setup tools and you have to run the uh, npm command again, node package manager install. So, uh, pip install setup tools will fix the dist utils uh, uh, issue and uh, you have to again try installing uh, example CLI using the same command again. Uh, I understand uh, there will be dynamic issues based on the system and uh, the environment that you have, but we should be able to resolve it dynamically. So, as we can see, we are able to uh, install this example CLI successfully without any uh, issues. Now, uh, we'll uh, run the uh, command which is edge impulse data hyphen forwarder. So, uh, remember that uh, every time uh, you execute this command, you log in as an administrator. Hyphen data hyphen forwarder. So your edge impulse data war forwarder must start like this. So until and unless you connect a device, it uh, will be keep on trying for the serial communication. Do we want to show it? So as you can see, serial has been connected. Scroll up. Here uh, you can see that uh, it is connected and the MAC address of the device. Uh, now uh, it is asking for which project to connect to from for this device. So we will choose uh, gesture training 2. So this is how uh, you have to uh, fix the issues when uh, you try to install Edge Impulse CLI.